Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing whether or not, well, for Thai employees, the, the ratio of Thai employees to foreign employees in Thai companies. We're talking about this specifically in the context of a standard Thai company setup. So what we're not talking about, for example, might be BOI. BOI has different, uh, that's the board of investment here in Thailand. They have different rules regarding, and they may be able to grant concessions regarding the four to one ratio. Uh, so, but, so folks understand, yeah, if you have a foreign national working on a standard Thai company, this also applies to companies which may be granted national treatment under the provisions of the U.S. Thai Amity Treaty. You folks too, you may have to worry about this insofar as you gotta maintain four employees to every one foreign employee in order to be in compliance with Thai law. And this is especially necessary to be aware of because on a yearly basis, you're gonna need to you know, renew your work permit, renew your visa. And if you're not staying in compliance with this four to one ratio, and if, you, if they see that you haven't been at some point during the time period you've had a foreigner on your company, it's gonna lead to real problems. They can, be, they can rescind the work permit, rescind the visa, and basically say, look, you, you know, you're not in compliance on this. So yeah, there is a ratio requirement, four to one. Uh, depending on circumstances, it might be two to one, as we've discussed in other videos. If someone is married to a Thai national, even though they're a foreigner, they may only need to deal with the two to one ratio of employees. But the thing to keep in mind, the thing to take away from this video is four to one is the kind of the standard, it's the rule of thumb. Again, there's special dispensations granted for Board of Investment and other types of other types of concession smart visas might be a good good uh, good example to cite that you may not necessarily have a four to one ratio, but in the vast majority of circumstances, yeah, that four to one ratio is going to be need to be maintained in order to maintain a foreign national with a work permit and business visa on a Thai company.